The final prophet has now been sent so please do not reject this gift. Friday, July 19, 2013 at 3 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, when you worry and feel unloved, because of this mission, you must know that the Holy Spirit will always keep you strong. You will never be able to declare falsities, as this is not permitted by my beloved Father. You are the end-time prophet and while I know that this frightens you, know this. I, through the love of my Father, grant great mercy on the world. The final prophet has now been sent, so please do not reject this gift, for it is the desire of my Father to grasp all of his children and protect them from the evil in the world. This is the gift to bring you final salvation from a terrible punishment. Do not reject this gift of prophecy, the final intercession from heaven, to save you from harm. Those who do not honor my father and who worship pagan gods, your countries will be wiped from the face of the earth, if you do not turn to the one true God. You, who worship false gods, which promise you glittering futures and which appeal to your vanity, will be driven away from me and you will drown in an endless vacuum, an abyss from which you will never return. Listen now, all of you. I call upon humanity from heaven. My prophet will simply do as I tell her. She obeys me, the Son of God, the Son of Man, as foretold. She has no voice. Her words are my words. Her obedience is crucial according to the command of God. Her obedience means that she is not permitted to open her mouth to defend the word of God. All events, foretold, will happen quickly. Ignore this warning from heaven and you will suffer more than is necessary. Vilify these words from heaven and you will be shown in all your shame before the whole world for persecuting me. My word is true. My word is concrete. My word is given to protect you and save you from the beast, who destroys your lives with his infestation. Please be strong and walk away from the wicked lies he tells you. If your heart is heavy come to me and I will make it light. If your heart is sad I will envelop you and bring you peace so that death will never frighten you again. If you are filled with anger, which turns to hatred against these messages, know then that you have been attacked by the king of lies. You will know within your heart that if these messages cause you pain and suffering, that they come from me. Your Jesus.